Greetings, all. So, last episode was uh, getting a little bit tight with the fuel there, and uh, we're starting off with that same problem. We've only got two fuel left. I'm actually on missiles and low haul and all that. So, we're jumping in, and probably what will be the end of this ship soon. But uh, I'm not completely um, destroyed yet, so I might still be good. Now, when I was thinking about this last time, I was thinking about going to this Iron Storm to, you know, possibly pick up fuel if, like, you know, that's a pirate or anything, or something good there. We're going to avoid that place just for a little bit. I'm going to try walking around just a little bit. I might find something useful elsewhere, you know, for fuel, and then I won't have to go there. Because I'll have to fire a pirate ship if I have to go there, and I'm not really in the shape of fighting anything. Um, in either case, though... No missiles. And I guess uh, I'll be using these systems quite a bit for a moment, because that's all I really got to fight with. So these guys are going to have to teleport in a bit, hopefully. Or not, but whatever. Let's go to uh, this sector first. La last fuel. I'll have to jump there next time, I guess, because I'll need to f uh, the fuel. There's nothing here save for the vast rules, the gas for the freeze, and there's the sun. Alright, we got some ships to finally go after. Apostle ships. But we'll go here first because I want to possibly pick up something from pirates if they're here. You arrive in the middle of a plaza storm. Decide the hard conditions of Royal Scouts are waiting for you. Alright, so he's got um, a little bit to fight me with. What do I want to do with this guy? He's got Med Bay. And he's going to be pretty hard to defeat. Um. We're going to try, I don't know, we'll keep the cloak off for now. I'll put on the burst laser, and I'm just going to try bursting down something, hopefully, before he starts firing at me. So I can't take too many hits if he starts firing. I want to keep my engines somewhat up because, you know, they're good for protecting me. Oh, I guess i drop them down and take the extra shield, but that'll probably not be more useful. Maybe we'll try that for a little bit. Keep my shields up because this guy only has a double burst laser, and these will hurt me. But uh, you know, I should be able to survive a little bit. Bing, bing. Okay, it's kind of hurting me to, you know, to do shields like that. So let's put the in an engine and maybe we'll get the extra dodge. Yay for shields! Um, we're gonna burst laser down his weapons first, or should I go after his? Med Bay. Maybe I go after his drones. Okay, here comes this first blast. Um, we're gonna cloak. Or no, we're not. I want to fire this off first, so I'll be useless to cloak now. He's beaming me, so this is gonna hurt. All right, we hit his drones down. That took off. Hopefully, a drone. You guys go fix up Med Bay. Or actually, you go fix up Med Bay. You go back onto weapons. So that's the plan. You go fix up the O2, I guess. Took a couple hits there because my shields are down. Not good. Hopefully I can take out his drones before he does too much damage on me. Alright, that's probably just gonna hit. Hopefully I hit him. Did that take out a drone, I hope? I hope. Hall's getting critical there. Okay, he's fixed this. You go here, you go here. O2 is fixed. Go here. Burst laser down. He's got his shields back on now. So uh, this thing is deactivated, hopefully, for good. But, um... Okay, you guys have to get over there and possibly take out this. I probably should have gone after that and just teleport straight over. Oh, there's a hit on that. That's not enough to take it out. I need to take it out. I have this ready to be powered up, maybe. That'll be my plan, I guess. Try and power up the weapons. We're gonna try armoring down his med bay again. 
before it fixes it up, because then I can teleport in there and hopefully... Good, he took that down as shield pip, though he took put his back on for it. But if I take out his med bay, then I can possibly kill off his crew, so... Cloak. Protect myself a little bit. Wait for the cloak to wear off. His med bay. Uh, he's got a triple med bay, so that sucks. Um, screw it, let's just teleport over and hope for the best. That's my plan for now. I'm going to put the uh, teleporters on and send them over. Uh, do med bay. Oh, it's a system drone in there. That's why it's getting fixed up so much. Okay, those guys are going to heal up in there, but do they have power in there, I wonder? If they don't have power, I might be able to still kill them before they kill me. It doesn't look like they have power, but I'm taking lots of hits in the process. Cloaking's on fire. That kind of sucks, I won't have my cloaking in case you know. You know, it's, it's useful. Burst lasers will go off on... I don't know, weapons or... Drones. Let's go after drones. Yeah, he's powering up the stuff still trying to get away. Uh, it took off both his drones. We're gonna go after, I don't know. We'll turn this off for now. I'm just gonna focus on trying to keep myself alive for the moment. Awesome. That's still on fire, sadly, so I have to wait for it to deoxidize before I can send my energy in or anything. These guys have to get killed. Oh, they're healing up. Can you kill that guy, though, before he... Ah, tell him I'm off. You know, if they escape, this might be better for me. Or maybe better if I jumped, rather. Yeah, he jumped for me, I guess. My helmet went critical on that, and now I've got no fuel, so it kind of sucks for me. Okay, let's close the doors. Um, we'll send you in there to heal up. The rebels know where I am now. Go in there, fix that. Go here. This might be a quick end for this episode. No fuel. Wait. The honest start dying down, leave your ship um, in peace as you wait for the help. A ship approaches to heal you. You need some fuel? Prepare to dock to help. Um, so, gracefully accept their offer, request that they keep their distance, or long range scanners run a detailed scan before responding. Let's do that. Since they're picking up armed crew and considering more weaponry than is legal for craft their size, they're essentially a trap. Uh, I can cloak and get out of scan range before they have a chance to lock on. So let's, let's do that. Your highly advanced cloaking system allows you to get out of range easily and since they were still out of firing range. Eventually, the ship dumps away. But it kind of sucks because, you know. It could have helped me, but I just wanted to risk it at this point. Wait. A poorly armed slug uh, ship cruises by and offers assistance. The captain seems to be chuckling to himself, perhaps, at the prices he's charging. Um, he's going to have to 15 scrap for 5 fuel, or in I can ignore the offer. I guess we'll ignore the offer. You know better than to do this as a slugman who seems like he knows what's on something you don't. He jumps off with an, with an art chuckle. Uh, the iron storm's down. Why do I not have this powered up? All right, we gotta wait some more. Before or long, a ship jumps uh, nearby. No doubt responding to your beacon. However, any relief you felt disappear as soon as you recognize the ship's and Manta's design. Prepare for a fight. All right, so he's going to uh, try and kill me. He probably is gonna kill me too, because I don't think I can fight him. He uh, has a med bay, he's got teleporters. I'm probably screwed. 
Oh, well, let's try and kill this guy. These guys. Send these guys in first. Send these guys in next. Not enough power. Put that back on. I'll cloak if they start firing, basically. I don't care about that. It's this one I care about. Okay, he teleported off. You guys go in here, you go here, you go here. I wonder if I can cloak and avoid that. We'll wait for this though, because I'd rather avoid the um, the laser blast and the explosion here. I miss anyways. That's going to... Okay, time to cloak. Alright, that was a good cloak time. You guys are going to go to teleporter. And this is probably going to hurt me, but I have to try and take him out. We're going to go after shield room. Oh, yeah, the guy in there. That sucks. Here comes his uh, relief. Let's flip, have these guys flee. Ouch. I was hoping to take out his shields, but he's got a guy in there. He's got too much crew. I am probably really screwed. Uh, yeah, you go to med bay. And we are going to, I don't know, deoxidize, I guess, that. Yeah, we'll try deoxidizing that. Door system is still on, I think. And I'll move you there, I guess. Oh, there you go. So we knew that was happening sooner or later. One last explosion marks the fate of your ship as it's torn asunder. So there's the stats for Low Rider and uh, Ship Best. That was um, second best. And I got an achievement out of it, so I'm pretty happy about that. Um, I also got uh, Trustworthy Autopilot. And uh, where's the other one? I don't need no sneaking upgrades. So, you know, I got those, you know, two achievements uh, with this ship. So, pretty much, I'm happy about what I achieved on this ship, even though I lost. Um, so, that's it. I'll try and uh, make it, you know, a little better stab using the Kestrel. Obviously, I'm just continually failing with the Kestrel, and I want to actually get a win with him. I only have, like, the Trekster who's made it up to the boss, so maybe we'll try and aim for the boss next time. Um... Something else to note, I might, though, is uh, I might go after trying to get uh, Tough Little Ship or the United Federation first, though. It might work better if I try and have the Type B layout on the Kestrel and see if that, you know, helps me out a little bit more than, like, you know, the Type A. This isn't a bad layout, but um, I suppose uh, I just haven't been doing all that well of it, so maybe try the other layout and maybe it'll be better. Uh, or I might just, you know... I might just try and go try and unlock uh, other ships with this uh, with my next run. We'll see. For now, let's just take care and I'll restart the next uh, Kestrel run probably soon, in a moment.